what is going on people welcome back to another video on aj5 and in today's video guys we do have another update on bonk which has not been performing too well over the last two to three weeks as you guys can see more or less dropping down in value in the last 24 hours even though it has gained six percent overall guys it is down nine percent for the week but we'll get into that very shortly looking at what is the best option right now is it to buy the dip is it to sell it get rid of it or hold on to it before it potentially recovers later on in the coming weeks months and later on this year as well so we are going to cover both buyers and sellers point of view looking at what is the best option for bonk and looking at is this a crypto still worth investing into in 2024 or would you rather simply just avoid it and invest into a different crypto but before i get into all of that stuff guys if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet make sure to go down and smash that subscribe button as well as like the video as i am trying to hit a hundred thousand subscribers by the end of the year and if you guys can help me hit that target i will be doing a cryptocurrency giveaway which you guys can join by simply subscribing to the channel and for a bonus entry follow me on instagram link to that will be in the description box down below so we are currently looking at the candlestick pattern chart with the Fibonacci scale which I will be using later on in the video to do some technical analysis but for now I'm just going to hide this and I'm going to bring up the usual MACD indicator to do some price prediction as I'm pretty sure that's what most of you guys are here for. So we are currently looking at the daily chart and at the top here we've got the purple line running across the chart giving us the average value of bonk which is here in purple and we can see the crypto is trading at a lower value than the sma indicator here meaning it is not performing too well and lower than expected and it has that this has been the case over the last week as you guys can see so let's zoom in into the 30 minute chart for the short term traders and then i'll move on to the hourly daily and weekly chart for the long term investors like myself but before i do that guys just a little disclaimer as usual this is no financial advice i'm not a financial advisor anything i say is from my own prediction and my take on this crypto and any gains or losses you guys make i will not be responsible for so zooming into the 30 minute chart we do have the blue and the orange line looking slightly bearish heading towards a negative direction meaning minimal drops in value are expected over the next 12 to 14 hours so in the early hours of tomorrow to tomorrow midday the crypto should be trading at a slightly lower value than where it is at the moment nothing too major it's not going to be a major crash or a major price drop or anything like that it is also likely to hit green candles in between as well pumping up in value but the red candles are likely to overtake the green candles meaning an overall minimal drop in value is what is expected from bonk over the coming 12 to 14 hours so it should effectively be trading at a slightly lower value than where it is at the moment moving on to the hourly chart next couple of days what can we see here the orange line is looking slightly bullish heading towards a positive direction however the blue line is looking bearish heading towards the negative direction so what we have here is two lines going the opposite direction to each other so according to the graph an overall fluctuation in value is what is expected from bonk over the next seven to eight days so towards the end of next week the crypto should be trading around its current price range after a volatile week with ups and downs which i do agree with reason being is even over the last week as you guys can see it has been pumping dropping pumping dropping but overall it has maintained its value this has been the average value over the last week which i'm expecting to repeat over the next seven to eight days with green and red candles quite volatile but the overall outcome does seem to be more on the neutral side so fluctuating around its current price range is where bonk should be towards the end of next week as well but if there are any major changes to this i will of course keep you guys updated because i try and keep you guys updated on a daily basis on bonk with updates and news i come across which could have a potential impact on its value either in a bullish or bearish direction i will let you guys know so make sure you guys stay subscribed and turn on the bell notifications to get notified every time i upload so zooming into the daily chart over the next couple of weeks we are not looking too good at all we have the blue and the orange line both looking bearish heading towards a negative direction looking very steep as well so again it's not as realistic as it seems however over the next six to eight weeks guys potentially mid to late may 2024 i am expecting bonk to be trading at a lower value than where it is at the moment so as you guys can see here 
even last time where it did where it, when it did pump back in December or November December I did expect it to drop back down in value that's what's happened and this is again a very similar pattern to what happened last uh, late last year in November December is going through the exact same process so I'm expecting it to drop down further down than where it is at the moment over the next two months so do expect more red candlesticks along the way so for those of you guys who are looking to invest or trade the crypto make sure your risk management is on point as i'm expecting the cryptocurrency to not really crash back down in value but to slowly and steadily hit more red candles over the coming weeks so heading into the fibonacci scale here as you guys can see we have been dropping in value quite a bit and the resistance levels as well we have been passing through each and every one of them the next target is for it to hit the green zone or drop down to the green zone even potentially by mid april it should have dropped back down into the green zone and hitting the red zone by late april may is what my expectations are but i will keep you guys updated if there are any changes so heading into the coin market cap website here the trading volume has dropped back down by 30 percent in the last 24 hours making it 124 million dollars in trading reason is dropped is the value of bonk yes it has pumped but overall as you guys can see it has dropped quite a bit the trading volume a week ago was over 400 million dollars and right now has dropped all the way down to 124 million wait until the monthly chart guys yes it's up 98 percent but the trading volume was around as you guys can see over two billion dollars guys about three weeks ago and right now is all the way down to 124 million so that in itself should should tell you guys how much attention this crypto was getting how much it was pumping and how much it's dropped right now it has lost a lot of interest in the crypto market but when it was pumping like crazy earlier on in february and march i did warn you guys do expect the crypto to go for a price correction in mid to late march which is exactly what's happening right now so don't tell me i didn't warn you guys because crypto is like this things like this are expected guys it pumps up like crazy and yeah literally just drops start to drop back down in value so this is my take and my prediction on bonk guys let me know in the comment section down below has your predictions changed especially after the dip that's taken place are you guys expecting it to add more zeros or get rid of zeros comment down below as i'm very intrigued to see how many of you guys are bullish and how many of you guys are bearish on this crypto and on that note i'm going to end the video here guys i just want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you who have been subscribing liking commenting and just supporting the channel in any way or form and especially all the subscribers out there thank you guys so much as it helps me a lot and means a lot to me as i am trying to hit 100k by the end of the year and at the end of the day guys it is free to subscribe so why don't you go down and smash that subscribe button and like the video and i catch all of you guys in my next crypto update which should hopefully be later on today or tomorrow until then take care and peace